is Amber from Love Fit and She and uh, welcome to week 33 of my Healthy Happy Pregnancy series. So um, at the time of filming I'm actually um, about 33 and a half weeks pregnant and today I wanted to do a short circuit um, that's all based on really giving your core a great workout. Um, the last few videos have been more kind of me discussing and educating so I wanted to do a, a physical session today for you for those who've been asking for it. Um, so by now, if you've been following the series along, you will know when it comes to core work that we do not want to be doing work that increases the pressure in our core because the weight of the baby is already providing a lot of extra pressure. Um, so we want to avoid all the stuff we typically think of like sit-ups and crunches and planks. Um, but we do of course need to work the core for all the reasons explained in the last few videos because we need a strong abdominal wall, we need a pelvic floor that supports the baby and helps birth the baby, and we need lovely strong um, back muscles to keep our posture good um, and also to help with the breathing muscles. So lots of different reasons we should work the core. So today I just want to do four variations on a lunge, all of which are going to really engage the core and give the pelvic floor a really good workout, mainly because where the muscles involved in a lunge, so if you think of all the thigh muscles, hips, bum, all of those muscles attach into the um, pelvis in such a way that your pelvic floor will be unconsciously activated while doing these exercises. And they all um, add in some upper body work, so you're getting a lot of bang for your buck and we're giving these lovely big upper back muscles some work at the same time. So four exercises for you. One quick caveat though, if you are suffering from any pelvic pain at all, so um, especially symphysis pubis dysfunction here at the front of the pelvis or any sacroiliac pain in, in the back part of the pelvis, you will probably find that um, lunge work is not really your friend. Anything that involves taking the legs apart is not very comfortable on a very sore, unstable pelvis. In which case, please stay tuned for the next video in which I will be discussing um, a bit more about pelvic pain, how it happens, how to prevent it, how to work around it. Um, so stay tuned for that. But for everyone else, let's go through these four variations on a lunge. Um, and yeah, let's get cracking. So first up, I'm using here just a very simple pole. Um, this is actually one I use to open the window up there. You can use a broom handle um, if you are strong or if you're earlier on in your pregnancy and you want to use something a bit more weighted, such as a very light barbell, or you could use Bulgarian bag, a Viper if you have one, or if you have access to a gym, anything with a bit of weight, doesn't need to be mega heavy. You're going to be doing a forward lunge, just slightly reaching the arms forward as you do this. So I'll just do a couple of demonstrations. I'm going to lunge forward. I'm changing legs each time. And as I do this, what you'll notice is that I'm inhaling as I step forward exhaling as I push myself back. Okay, let me just show you from the side. So lunging forward. And you'll notice my back knee bending to the floor. And I'm just reaching this ever so slightly forward and pulling it back in. Now, as I say, there's no weight really with this. Probably weighs a couple hundred grams. Um, but just that act of having the arms wider than my hips gives my upper back some focus, so it keeps my torso nice and strong. And then when you lunge forward, your pelvic um, floor is put on tilt, um, or on stretch, sorry. So you get that subconscious activation just due to how the muscles connect. So lunging forward, exhaling as you come back. That's the first one, forward lunge with a forward reach. Next one, we're gonna go in the opposite direction. We're gonna lunge backwards. I'm gonna use my trusty band again. What I want you to do here is you're going to hold the band in front of your belly button with one hand and that hand stays still. The other hand is up in front of you and you're going to lunge back and with the same arm on that side you're going to pull the band up. So I lunge and come back in. Come back in. And again I'm inhaling on the way back, exhaling on the way in. And if I do this nice and slowly, then I can lift the pelvic floor on the way in. And then you switch arms and legs. So I'm holding one hand in front of my belly button, 
Exhale, lift the pelvic floor. And as I say, you're getting subconscious work of the pelvic floor anyway, but by adding in that pelvic floor lift that we've gone over in separate videos, you get even more bang for your buck. And again, to show you here sideways, so actually I'll go, I'll go this way. So you're gonna hold that up and then lift the pelvic floor. Making sure you work evenly on both sides. Lovely stuff. And then actually with the band, we're gonna do a third one. This one's a transverse lunge. So what we're gonna do is my hips are gonna stay square to the front, but I'm gonna lunge round as if I'm lunging round to eight o'clock on, on a clock face. So if I'm facing 12 o'clock now, I'm gonna lunge round to eight o'clock and at the same time, pull the band. And again, that action of pulling the band really creates tension in the core. It works my upper back at the same time as having a lovely lunge. So my right hand and my right leg are gonna stay fixed and my left hand and my left leg are gonna move away. Now notice I'm not turning my whole body. This foot here stays planted. So watch in slow motion, I step round, that foot stays there, I don't let the knee cave, and I exhale, lift the pelvic floor on the way back. And to show you the other way, and you can just see that little bit of pull on the band, but just watch how when I'm here, this knee stays pushed back. I'm not allowing it to twist in. Okay, so again, it's a slow move, round and back. Fantastic work for the whole pelvic floor. So we've got three different kind of lunges, one forward with a push, one back with a pull, and one transverse, twisting with a pull to the side. And then finally, this is just a little off-center slide of the leg using a light weight. This is a three kilogram Pilates ball. You can use something lighter, you know, just a little tiny dumbbell, or you can do it without any weight at all. But you are going to take your arms and leg in opposite direction. So from a central position, I'm gonna bend my supporting leg, slide my foot to the side, and push the ball out to the side. So here, lift the pelvic floor. Lift the pelvic floor. And again, because I'm working my body and my core in opposition, because of all the muscles that connect across here, you get loads of lovely work going on as well as the pelvic floor. And to show you the other way, coming back. So pushing out, coming back in. And I'm literally just sliding across the floor. Simple as that. So there you have four variations on the lunge, all are going to work the core really intensely as well as great work for your legs. So bum will get strong, thighs will get strong. Remember we want strong thighs for labour itself and we want strong bum because that's going to help support your pelvis and keep you strong throughout the rest of your pregnancy and beyond. Okay, so I hope that's helpful. Watch that again if you need to and I will see you next week in week 34. Thank you very much. Bye.